Hey there guys welcome to Study IQ my name is Prashant Dhawan and in this video we are going to talk about the Bharat Net project a lot of uh, questions to be discussed first of all we shall talk about the purpose of Bharat Net project why it exists how will it help india then we shall talk about its uniqueness how Bharat Net project is so unique and how is it different from all the other projects then we shall discuss this very important part why is bharat net project important for make in india how will it benefit make in india then finally we shall also discuss what is the status of bharat net project as i record this video and how you guys can check the status of bharat net project as well a lot to discuss a lot to learn let's start right away if you are preparing for any exam then study iq is with you our courses provide you the luxury of studying from home you can study from home with our pen drive and tablet courses our courses are available for various exams like ssc exams uh, bank exams upsc exams as well go to studyiq.com visit this website check out the course that fits you that fits your needs watch the demo videos and purchase it you can also enroll in our ssc cgl and chsl test series if you are serious about your ssc exams then this test series will help you tremendously Have a look at this wonderful quote by Milton Friedman. Of course, he is the famous American economist. He is also a winner of the Nobel Prize. He said, "The internet is the most effective instrument we have for globalization." Now, if you guys know the basics of uh, economics, you know that globalization has had a very positive impact in terms of uh, development for developing countries like uh, India and China. both india and china have managed to alleviate millions of people out of poverty because of globalization our 1991 reforms were based on the principles of privatization liberalization and of course globalization so since internet is the most effective instrument for globalization then we must make sure that every citizen in india has access to internet so he too can reap the benefits of globalization and can empower himself now let's study this part how many people in india actually have internet access how many internet users do we have in our country and how many of them are in rural india now let's have a look at this report this report was published by iamai imrb according to this report there are uh 444 million people in urban area in urban india and about 60% of them are using the internet that means around 269 million people in the urban parts of india are internet users now let's have a look at the rural part according to the survey uh, there is a, a population of uh, 906 million in rural india of course this number comes from the 2011 census and out of this uh, colossal number 906 million only 17% 17 percent people are internet users that means in rural india we have only 163 million people who use the internet thus there are a potential approximately 750 million users still in rural india who are yet to become internet users if only they can be reached out properly so you can clearly see what's the problem the internet penetration in rural india is uh, very less and then there is also the problem of uh, internet literacy a lot of people are not uh, literate enough in rural areas they don't really know enough about uh, internet uh, to begin with uh, you know so there is a huge challenge in front of the government so now let's talk about bharat net how will bharat net help solve this problem how can we have a larger number of uh, people in the rural part of india who have access to internet and thus are internet users now bharat net is basically a program to provide broadband connectivity to 2.5 lakh gram panchayats all over india that means around uh, 6.5 lakh villages around this number so we are trying to provide internet connectivity not just internet connectivity actually when we are talking about bharat net we are specifically talking about broadband connectivity you see internet can be provided through various means right 
there are various telecom uh, companies like vodafone airtel jio reliance jio they too provide internet and if someone has a smartphone and lives in a you know small village then he can probably use the internet on his device but the connection will not be good most probably he will not even get proper connection in those small villages the speed of the internet will not be good so he will probably be able to perform basic you know actions he will not be able to access websites he will not be able to take advantage of all the uh, government schemes that the government of india is uh, providing him so there are a lot of limitations with that sort of internet right that you can use through uh, uh, the your uh, mobile data but with broadband connectivity you get a much better speed the access to internet is a whole lot better and uh, of course then you can uh, do a lot more things and we shall talk about this in a minute the bharat net project was initially named national optical fiber network because it is based on optical fiber cables under bharat net the government of india will just uh, spread the web of optical fiber cables all over india and pretty much every village shall be connected with broadband internet so initially its name was national optical fiber network and uh, this was launched under the upa government in 2011 later on when uh, nda came to power they changed the name in 2015 and they started calling it bharat net project now it's not just that they changed the name they actually brought in a better revenue model as well now another thing that you should know about is that bharat net project is the world's largest rural broadband connectivity program all right and of course they will be using optical fiber cables to make sure every village is connected then this very important point it is implemented by bharat broadband network limited so the government of india has actually made a new company called bharat broadband network limited and under this company this entire project will uh, carry forward and this uh, company is under the telecom ministry and of course uh, this is a very ambitious rural internet connectivity program as you can pretty much understand so what are the objectives of bharat net well the bharat net project proposes uh, broadband connectivity to households under uh, village panchayats and even to government institutions at district levels the first phase of uh, bharat net was uh, over in uh, 2017 uh, december month of uh, 2017 and now as i am recording this video we are in phase 2 of uh, bharat net project uh, in the phase 1 1 lakh gram panchayats were to be uh, connected through this uh, cable and they were to be provided internet access now some of you might be wondering all right so we are trying to provide internet uh, connectivity to all these gram panchayats that's good but how does make in india benefit from bharat net well it's quite simple actually since you will be using fiber optical cables to connect all these gram panchayats we shall talk a little bit about fiber optical cables in the next slide as well so since you will be using these you know huge cables all over india uh, thousands and thousands and miles shall be covered you need equipment for that right and uh, all the equipment that will be used in bharat net shall be made in india so make in india initiative will benefit because a lot of uh, companies a lot of uh, small businesses will get business because of bharat net because they will have to you know produce something that will be used in this project and uh, this will in turn create more jobs so any everyone will benefit from the bharat net project now it intends this project bharat net project intends to cover 2.5 lakh gram panchayats for provision of e governance e healthcare e-commerce e-education public interest access services a lot of good things are uh, going to come out of this uh, project now before talking about that let's discuss this uh, idea of fiber optic cables being uh, spread all over india uh, how does internet actually work how do you actually get this internet and uh, how can all the other villages all over india get internet access let's discuss that now have a look at these two pictures this map here this map gives us a clear picture of the fiber optical cables that are connecting our continents you can see these cables here right so america as you can see usa is connected 
to Europe through the North Atlantic Ocean. And then all these cables, they stretch from Africa to South America to Australia to China and Russia as well. So the entire world is connected through these fiber optical cables. And this is how you can talk to people across continents. You can chat with them. You can communicate with them. You can send files to them so easily because of this. And uh, this process is done uh, like this. As you can see, these guys are laying down this fiber optical uh, cable. Actually, this is just a pipe. There are many fiber optical cables inside this pipe. And uh, you know, these uh, cables are very long, thousands of kilometers long, and um, they are actually submerged in the ocean, thousands of feet under the ocean. And it's quite a marvel. It's a scientific marvel. So as you can see, these cables are also connected to our lovely nation, India. So once they are connected to the coastal part, then it becomes the responsibility of our government to make sure that inland India, all our uh, rural areas are also connected by these fiber optical cables through which they too can access the internet and they can be connected to the rest of the world. So what have we learned till now? So far we have learned that uh, these cables will be connected to every Gram Panchayat in India and eventually all the villages in India will have internet access. But what about all these things that we talked about e-governance, e-healthcare, e-commerce, e-education? How will the people that live in villages, how will they get access to this? Will it be that easy? Well, there are various instruments that the government will use. Now, before we move further and discuss other things, I want you guys to see a video. Uh, the video is in Hindi language. Just watch it. And after that, I will translate most of the stuff that uh, you will see in the video. ऑनलाइन रेलवे टिकट बुक कराना आधार कार्ड या पासपोर्ट बनवाना पैन कार्ड की अर्जी भरना जमीन के कागजात या जन्म और मृत्यु प्रमाण पत्र बनवाना और प्रधानमंत्री डीजी साक्षरता योजना के अंतर्गत सीएससी अधिकारी को प्रशिक्षण देकर दूसरों को पढ़ाने के लिए तैयार कर ले एक और खुद का सेंटर चलाने का अवसर मिला और दूसरी ओर लोगों को रोजगार लेकिन इस सेंटर को चलाता कौन है कृष्णा अरे भाई ये कृष्णा कौन है Now, as you guys saw in the advertisement, I'm sure you probably understood the gist of it. The advertisement was about common service centers. Now, what are these common service centers? This uh, idea of having a common service center is very important for a digital India initiative. Let me explain why. First of all, just imagine this. You have provided internet access to a certain village. Now, how are the villagers supposed to use the internet so easily and access all the way, all the services that the government provides them? They need some sort of guidance, don't they? Well, this is where the common service center enters. The common service center is basically a public private partnership. And in the advertisement, you saw that this uh, little girl named uh, Krishna, she was, uh, you know, handling a common service center and everyone was happy that uh, she's doing such a fabulous job and she was being awarded for it. So in reality, let's come out of that advertisement. In reality, what probably happened was Krishna decided that uh, she wants to open a common service center. And uh, so she had to arrange the land. She had to arrange all the equipment, the computer that you see, the scanner, 
uh, all the you know chairs everything that you see she had to arrange all of this the government actually provides a list of things that you need for a common service center after that the government shall provide internet through the bharat net project all right so internet shall be provided on priority basis to these common service centers and of course internet is the backbone of these common service centers these centers are pretty much like cyber cafes i'm sure you must have seen cyber cafes in uh, your you know city over there there isn't exactly a guy to help you out but in these common service centers there will be a person to help people out if they want to you know uh, have their own uh, bank account or if they want to access some government scheme so they can do that through the through the internet with the help of the common service center so this uh, csc common service center will pretty much take care of all the e governance aspects and all the services that the government intends to provide to all the people now one question that you might be asking is uh, what will krishna get in return for that she will arrange all of this and the government will only provide uh, the internet access that's it uh, what incentive will she get well uh, she will get commission if uh, someone uh does some uh, you know bank transaction to this common service center or uh, does you know some other activity that the government uh, feels is worthy of an incentive uh, to krishna then of course she will get uh, commission for that and you know she will probably earn a decent decent amount from this common service center as well so you can understand that if the objectives of bharat net are to be accomplished if they are to be reached then common service center will act as a very important cornerstone for that all right so now this uh, takes care of the e governance let's talk about the other aspects now why was bharat net so much in the news recently because phase 1 of bharat net has ended and now phase 2 has begun the government will spend 34000 crore rupees on uh, wifi hotspots and uh, all the other fiber optical cables that will be spread throughout india so well bharat net uh, it is uh, the setting up of connection or exchange for fiber optical cable at each panchayat under this scheme now look the government shall provide the fiber optical cable to a certain point to each gram panchayat right under the scheme after that the telecom operators they can buy the connection or the bandwidth from the government and they can sell it to, to the rural areas all right so under bharat net we aren't just providing free fast internet to the rural people we are just giving them the option to buy it all right eventually they will have to buy it uh, perhaps there will be some free wifi hotspots maybe maybe not it depends on the state and uh, the state model different states have different models for this so basically the public private partnership uh, model comes into the play because uh, the government will provide this bandwidth and these connections to all these private telecom operators perhaps some public uh, enterprises uh, shall benefit from this as well so the uh, prices shall be lowered for all these telecom operators uh, they shall uh, uh, be given to them at 75% lower rate so they are interested they become interested in doing business here uh, they start investing in rural areas and provide Uh, internet access to the people who live in rural areas and various telecom operators like uh, Reliance Jio, Bharati Airtel, uh, Vodafone they have shown interest and uh, you know Bharat Net uh, seems to be a success for the time being now uh, let me tell you something interesting we just discussed the e-governance aspect there are other things that people can do with internet as well right uh, for example telemedicine suppose there is a person who is suffering from a rare condition and he needs the advice of a specialist doctor uh, and that specialist doctor is in delhi now how is that person who lives in a small village how is that person supposed to seek advice from that doctor in delhi well through telemedicine because uh, through video conferencing if that guy has access to fast internet he can use video conferencing and he can talk to the doctor in delhi and you know he can get himself checked up and you know all the reports can be shared and you know his treatment can pursue now this is the telemedicine aspect education education is a huge part of bharat net just imagine this thousands of people lakhs of children all over india can benefit from bharat net because once they have access to proper internet connection they can you know uh, use it to enhance their knowledge they don't really have to compromise on their education 
they can use all the resources available on the on the internet to expand their horizons and you know know more and uh, they can also do many online courses to help themselves as, as well so that's one aspect the education part shall be covered finally let's talk about entrepreneurs once you provide internet access to a certain village then of course you are helping the entrepreneurs of that village as well because even in rural areas people want to grow they want to expand once they have access to fast internet uninterrupted fast internet through these awesome fiber optical cables then they can sell their merchandise their products online all right they can uh, do a lot of things they can provide services online they can do a lot of things right sky is the limit so once the entrepreneurs get this tool of fast internet connectivity perhaps they can employ more people and you know more people will get employment businesses will flourish a lot of things can happen with fast internet connection so that is the end of our video hopefully you liked it and if you did make sure to share it on facebook or whatsapp or wherever you can and uh, i shall see you soon with another current affairs video god bless you all keep working hard and you will succeed